hello again. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. And as you can see, we are again playing Minecraft. I have made it look a little bit nicer. I installed some shaders, which, if I must admit, look quite good. Quite good. And I also set it to a nice sunset. And it will be frozen, stuck on that for the entirety of this playthrough, if I did my job correctly, which I hope that I did. And if that is the case, then I think we've got ourselves a very good looking overworld here. And that's what we should be focusing on, even though we've actually got a couple really nice deep caves, you know, we got some really good looking caves down here, which are indeed calling me, and I want to go down there and explore them, but I think we should stick up here. Enjoy this sunset and the aesthetics of this really delightful shader pack. So, onward and upward, friends. I think our best bet is to break out into the open and kind of just walk and we'll just see what we encounter we'll just see what's around as you can see I did attempt That's it, that's what 
places. Just enjoy the scenery. You may notice that my voice is now coming out of both of your earphones or speakers. That is because I switched. Hopefully I switched. Yes, I did switch. I switched my microphone into cardioid mode to try to knock out some of the fan noises from my computer going burr. Fans go burr when Minecraft has water. Let's go over here and check out this here shipwreck. I'm curious. Well, actually, I don't know it's a shipwreck. I'm just assuming. I like this quite a lot. stuff. I think we should. If we're gonna ransack a ship, we should, you know, we should do it right. Oh, very nice. Got ourselves some TNT. And then I think even further forward, maybe, is it in the middle? Not actually sure. I'm going to be totally honest. There it is. Ah, there's a map. Someone did tell me about maps. So I'm quite happy about that. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, now what the heck? How do we Assuming we put this in our hand. Okay, we do. Interesting. Does this give us any kind of, like, indication as to where we are? It sure doesn't. Well, not that I can see, at least. That's fine. Again. We're just going to try to enjoy the ambiance. Enjoy the ambiance. Do any of you know how to navigate by the sun? Let me tell you, if you don't, it could save your life. Now, in this scenario, we know that the sun is setting. It could be that the sun being this low to the ground is actually rising. We know that in the northern hemisphere, I believe, I believe it is just in the northern hemisphere, the sun always rises in the east and sets in the west, and so we know that the sun right now is west. This is west, and therefore going backwards. 
this away is east. Now, if this is west, this is east. What direction is this? What direction is this? Yes, that's right, it's north. Which means this is south. Now, this actually could be useful if you know that uh, everyone in a certain country lives on, say, the, uh, the southern coast. So let's say that you're in Greenland or Iceland or something like that. Pretty much everybody lives on the southern coast. So if you want to get discovered by people, you're going to want to go south. What happens if you do not know, if you do not know if the sun is in the, is rising or setting? Like, let's say you've been kidnapped and dumped into the forest. You've been held with a bag over your head for, you know, days, weeks, months, whatever. You suddenly escape. in the westerly direction. So that's an easy way to figure out east to west. Now obviously it's going to be a little bit difficult depending on year. So you see, if you were in winter or summer, your westerly direction is going to be more or less accurate. I believe in the winter, the sun is actually technically closer to uh, south 
west facing. to open up to a big thing right here. 
Now maybe it does do that. Maybe it opens up out there. So you know what? I bet if we were to go over to here, maybe we can find this buried treasure. What do you think? Worth a shot. I think that's a good way to try her out. Yeah. I like it. I think that's a good deal. Now. Interesting. Now you see there are little... See, there's a little lake in here. There's a little spit of water in there. You know what? We might actually be able to... I might actually be able to seem like I know what I'm talking about. That could be fun. So let's just mosey on over. Mosey on over to here. What do we think? Well, I don't think we actually got our uh, buried treasure, but we did find a village. And I am quite curious about what a village looks like in this uh, shader. So, that will be what we explore next time. As we really enjoy this uh, magic hour exploration of Minecraft. Thank you for tuning in. Good luck in all your endeavors. And I shall say goodbye.